Uh, my name is Christopher Baker Bryan. I'm one of the co-founders and the CTO of Bbox. Uh, Bbox was founded in 2010, and our, our aim is to uh, design, uh, manufacture, uh, distribute, and finance off-grid solar systems to the developing world. Um, we uh, we have now have six businesses across um, three continents, and we have three local subsidiaries in East Africa, where we sell and distribute our products. Um, we now employ over 140 people around the world. 35 of those people are based um, here in the UK. And, and we now have uh, 30 shops in, in East Africa from which we sell and distribute our products, as well as a network of, 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 of partners around both East and West Africa and in developing Asia as well, um, who also distribute our products. In total, over the last four years, we've distributed our products to around 35 countries. I think um, even in this connected world, um, some of the fundamentals still apply in that face-to-face -face contact is key in the developing world. Um, going there and meeting a partner and being with them and understanding how they want, how they want to grow and sell your products is, is vitally important, even in the world of um, in a more connected environment at the moment. Um, I think there are other things that you can do to, to help facilitate those initial contacts. You can make use of international services such as UK trade investments, and who can facilitate those initial contacts. But ultimately, it's, it's going there and being on the ground and meeting those people face to face is what gets you um, into those markets. Specifically for Uganda, Kenya and Rwanda, the markets that we're, um, we're in heavily, uh, I think one of the important things is understanding some of the local regulations and restrictions that do happen in, in, that, in that market, um, particularly in terms of importing and operating businesses in that area. I think it's important to, again, have boots on the ground, people there, in the initial early days of the business um, to help help develop the, um, the initial business infrastructure. In particular countries such as Rwanda, um, actually the, the investment climate there is, is, is pretty generous to overseas businesses. Um, surprisingly, you can actually set up a business in Rwanda in one day, um, which is uh, impressive. Um, you know, I don't think there's many companies, uh, countries in Europe that can even claim to do that. So you know, in some countries, there are sort of um, good, generous incentives to get investment into those countries. But I think one of the key things that we'd, we seem to see over the last few years is the recruitment of good HR locally in East Africa. It can be a challenge, you can find it, but it's important that you really find that top team and you invest really in really key people right from the beginning of the business because it's those key people, uh, those key local people that are going to be watching over your business. You can't be there 100% of the time in the local market and uh, you've got to find and develop those key people right from the beginning and really invest in them. I think, um, I think you're looking for people that have an understanding of what a Western business is like to operate. I think people that have worked particularly for, there's a, there's a large, um, uh, a large thing in Africa of NGOs and government organizations, um, from Western aid agencies, often people that have worked for them, they understand how a Western style company works and operates. And I think that's actually quite important. So if you can find somebody with that experience, um, they're very valuable, valuable usually, and uh, if you can hold on to them and claim them and make them yours, then um, that's, that's probably one of the best ways of growing that top team. One of the, also the key things, I think, is investing into IT systems that are specifically designed for our market. Um, so investing into, as I said, mobile phone smart, a um, smart applications, uh, allowing our IT sales agents to manage their clients using a, using a phone, all these sort of things which allow us to... Um, sort of leapfrog uh, traditional technologies uh, and go straight into um, systems which uh, allow us to operate much more effectively in, a, in an area where logistics and communication services have, have an issue. I mean, there's, there's lots of things we could have done differently over the last few years. And if I think I could choose one, I mean, I think doing things faster is always, always a good thing for us, and particularly on our IT systems. Um, what we've seen is that uh, having a really good IT system, which we've really introduced in the last year or so, um, and having that right from day one when we started the business five years ago would have allowed us to effectively manage a much larger customer base much, much faster. So I think uh, if there's anything, it's investing in some of the key enabling technologies um, which can, particularly in East Africa, enable the business to grow much faster than it would have been with traditional um, paper-based or with, uh, with traditional technologies. So this is the BB17. This is one of the key products that we've been working on over the last 18 months. And we've actually developed this from initial range. This is an initial product we developed five years ago now. And in the last two years, we've added this remote monitoring and control functionality. So this little area you'll see poking out the back allows us to monitor how the product's being used by the customer. 
Um, so we're constantly able to see how they're discharging the product. And ultimately, if the customer doesn't pay us on a monthly basis, we can turn the product off. So they, the lights on the front will turn off and disable themselves if uh, the customer doesn't pay. Um, quite a simple product, really. They plug in uh, lights and radios down here. You can charge your phones off the USB slot. And inside, it's uh, very simple. You have a, a battery, a large battery inside with some electronics. Uh, which help us to control the power distribution to, to the customer and charge the battery, and then also monitor and control the system remotely. Um, this is uh, a product which we've been working on, as I said, for the last two years. It's gone through several iterations now, and, um, and we're, we've currently rolled out of this version around 5,000 units, and we're rolling out an additional um, uh, 6,000 in the coming three months. So it's uh, quite, a, quite a, a large number of units that we're, we're pushing into the market over the next few months.